today we're talking about the Father's Support Center, which is a local nonprofit organization that's making a huge impact in many lives in the St. Louis area. And joining us now is um, Jeffrey Irons, who's a facilitator at the club, yes. and he's here with Travis Super, who is a candidate for Father of the Year. So welcome to both of you. Yeah. So as a facilitator, what is it that you do? Well, what I do is first is um, when they first come in, I help them uh, get things together for us, helping them realize that they can complete this program if they put their mind and heart to it. Because we understand that they come in, they trouble, and they're really looking for answers, they're looking for help. And so the first thing I have to do is try to build a relationship with them and let them know that I'm going to be here 110% to help them make it through the transition, to try to give them a better uh, outlook on life, dealing with their children, dealing with their whole unit uh, uh, for us the fiancé or whomever they got, whomever they uh, come in contact with. You know, right? Yeah, uh, sometimes when someone comes in and there's all these things going on in their lives and there's so much drama to try and get to, you know, an answer, it may feel hopeless. And I would guess that, you know, you, are, you represent someone who also has been there, done that, yes, and uh, understands. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say that uh, I am a graduate of Fox Sports Center. I come out of class of 78. Uh, so it was amazing for me to come from one stage to another stage. And to be able to give back and help these guys come from one stage to another is, is an amazing. Yeah. I'm thankful for having the opportunity to do it because I understand where they come from. Yeah. And, and I would imagine, Travis, that, um, well, you know what, for you it was third time to charm, right? Yes, ma'am. It took you a little while. <laughs> The yeah. first time you thought I'm not you. And then the second time, you know, and then the third time, what happened? The light bulb went off and you said it's this or that. It, it was just kind of like the light bulb went off and it was just, you know, I was ready for the program. I was clean. Um, I was ready. And I felt like deep down I was ready. And I had plenty of support behind me. And you have to be ready. Yes. You do. And you have to be open and want to change. Yes. And you have two little ones, six and five years old. Boy yes. and girl, those are tiny. Yeah, not that tiny. They, <laughs> they growing up real fast. Like <laughs> they say, tiny to me. My girl growing so cute. But what have you learned, and what is it that you think that you're able to give your children now that you wouldn't have had the resources or know-how to do before? Um, well, what I give them more now is time. Mm -hmm. My time. Like I found out that time spending with children is real valuable, and they need that. And it's, it's, re it's real helpful to them, you know, when I spend time with them, play with them, and find out there every day. Yeah, that's what they want. Yeah. That's really what they want, is just uh -huh. your time. And I, and I did read where someone said something really insightful about, I've learned how to talk to my children instead of at them. Right. Because if you're constantly talking at them, nobody's hearing, and no one's listening, and, and you're not penetrating them, you're not right. getting through, they're not taking it in, and right. so they're not internalizing it. And, it sounds like um, you're doing a pretty good job because I think I read that you have tea parties with your father. Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> well, he's the winner. <laughs> In my book, you're the winner. <laughs> All right. Now, that is so sweet. And for her to see this really strong male role model, that's really what it's all about, isn't it, Jeffrey? Exactly. This, what this, it is. This, is what, this is it. Mm -hmm. These are your kids. You know, you brought them in the world and now you're connected with them. And you're going to be a major influence in their life as they continue to move into adulthood. And what a gift. Yeah, what a terrific gift and wonderful thing that you're doing, and great stuff that you're doing, doing there. Oh, it's, it's an amazing job because, hey, coming from one, like I say, coming from this, the same thing that they came from and knowing that they, it can be done. It can be done, but first we got to get them to believe that it can be done mm -hmm. and, and, and take the hope that they got and, and build, on, build on that. And let them know that, man, this is, it, work, it works. If you work the program, it'll work. Yeah, if you do the work, yeah, right, it works, works and you get to the other side. But mm -hmm. you have to work. Yeah, it's yeah. hard work. Yeah. Hard work. It's not easy. No, I would imagine. You just can't walk through this for six weeks. How was that boot camp? Uh, it was it was kind of challenging, but I stuck and stayed. And it was, it was challenging, but I stayed and fought the battle. Okay, you did it. You yeah. did it. All right, we'll be right back and we'll have some more. So please stay with us for the Father's Support Center. Thank you.